Okay, here's question 57. I kind of like this in a way because it's one of those really deceptively easy ones that the ACT likes to sometimes stick on the end of the last few questions. So if you're ever, you know, you think about giving up on the last few questions just because they seem so hard and you never get them, don't do it. Always have a look at them because there might be one like this that you can solve with a bit of a lucky guess. So it gives you these two complex numbers here and it asks you to find the distance between them on the complex plane. Now, you might never have heard of the complex plane, um, but basically, it's like this. It has an x and a y axis, except in this case we call them the real axis and the imaginary axis. So 2 plus 6i, if that's here, that's 6, and that's 2. This is just a representation of this. It's telling us that the real part of this number is 2, and the imaginary part is 6. So what we can really do is forget the complex plane and all and complex numbers, which will be helpful if you don't really know anything about complex numbers, and just consider that we need to find the distance between these two points, just like in regular Cartesian coordinate geometry, which you should be pretty familiar with. So we've basically turned question 57 into a question that would be more like question 7 on, on the ACT. So let's just do this quickly. 2 minus minus 4 squared plus 6 uh, minus 3 squared square root of that. So that's 6, so that's 36 plus 9. 36 plus 9 is 45. Now look at the form of your answers. Yeah, so it just says root 45 is in fact one of the answers and it's option D. For anyone who doesn't know anything about imaginary numbers, the basis of them that is that i is the square root of negative 1. Or another way of saying it would be that i squared equals negative 1. Um, you can get most of what you need to know from there, but I recommend studying them a little bit further if you're not familiar with them, because they do come up on the ACT fairly often.